Hello and welcome to another Earth Science Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Buss, and this podcast will be talking about the climate zones of the Earth. And climate zones are determined by temperature, the air temperature, precipitation, and again, it's not just, you know, how much rain do you get, it's it's when does the rain come? Does it come throughout the year? Does it come just for a month or two? How much rain do you get? How much precipitation, water, and in what form? Snow, rain, and so on. All right, so the first group we'll look at are tropical moist climates. And I'll draw the equator there. Tropical moist climates are obviously found at the equator. And for this podcast, we're going to be going uh, north, starting with the equator and then going north and south from the equator. So if you think about what's happening here, warm, obviously the equator is receiving the most direct sunlight. Um, and so a lot, of, a lot of heat and also a lot of water in the oceans is, uh, you know, becoming water vapor and rising. And then as that water vapor rises, it's going to rain down and precipitate. So a lot of a lot of rain in this area as well. So a lot of heat and a lot of rain are going to generate a lot of rain for us. You'll find that rain or precipitation is a huge factor in what can grow in an area. Um, rainfall in these areas is at least 59 inches per year. So not all areas receive uh, constant rain in this area. Some areas receive... Uh, sporadic rain in, for a couple months of the year, um, and others can receive sporadic rain for even longer, and those areas in this range can be considered, you know, savannas and so on. So I'll draw the equator here again, and um, it's interesting to note that as as the warm air has risen in the Hadley cell, and as it falls where it meets the Farrell cell, 30 degrees north and south latitude, that falling air is warm and dry, and so that dry air causes the Earth's deserts to form at 30 degrees north and south latitude as the warm, dry air from the Hadley cell falls. And dry climates represent 26% of the Earth's land surface, actually, so quite a large amount of land is dry climate. Um, you're going to get abundant sunshine, summer temperatures are high, winters are cooler uh, and longer than in the tropical moist climate, and your rainfall is going to be irregular, where you're going to get, at times, several years of drought, um, followed by a single year of abundant rainfall, so sporadic rain, irregular rainfall. All right, so bordering the Earth's deserts, which are about here and here, are the moist subtropical, subtropical meaning not tropical, uh, but they are moist areas um, that are receiving enough rainfall for a lot of vegetation to grow here. And in these areas, the coldest months uh, range just below freezing to um, not even quite freezing, um, and summers are mild with uh, average temperatures above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. You do get seasons in this area, so you're going to have distinct seasons, and rainfall is going to be plentiful. All right, so the next one we'll talk about is the, the uh, continental climates. And, yay, that's, here's Minnesota. That's what we are. Um, Minnesota is a continental climate, and it's interesting to note that there are no continental climates in the southern hemisphere. Even though there's significant land in the southern hemisphere, it's not significant enough. You need massive cli uh, continent to generate a continental climate. And you guys know the weather here, hot, humid summers, and cold, freezing winters. All right. Polar climates, we're almost done now, polar climates are found um, across the continents that border the Arctic Ocean, Greenland, and Antarctica. Um, winters are entirely dark, entirely dark and bitterly cold. Um, summer days are long, but the sun is low, so summers aren't that warm. Remember our lab on um, why do we have seasons, and it's the angle of the sunlight, and so angle of the sun is not very high even in the summer here. Um, this area is dry and uh, not getting a lot of precipitation. All right, and finally, ice caps, um, found mostly on Greenland and Antarctica. 9% of the Earth's land is ice caps, and ice caps, I mean, they are what they are, just blocks of ice, freezing cold. Um, average annual temperature, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it, just it, snow can fall in the summer, so ice caps are really cold. And that'll end uh, this podcast, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.